Hey everybody, it's Jimmy with Bright Insight. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Great Sphinx and how what we were taught in school and what they are still teaching in school today is inaccurate. Basically, they say that the Sphinx is 4,500 years old. However, significant evidence determined by more than 200 professional geologists from around the world have determined that the encasing of the Sphinx, the bedrock limestone, has significant evidence of water erosion. Well, why is this important? Well, the last time the Nile Delta had significant rainfall was approximately 9,000 years ago. And as you can see here from these photos, yes, there is evidence of wind erosion on the Sphinx, wind and sand erosion. This we can see. However, the enclosure of the Sphinx itself has absolute definitive evidence of water and rain erosion. And guys, the evidence is here for you to see and you can make your own judgments yourself. Well, you might be asking why, if there was evidence that it's far older than what we're being told, why would it be, uh, why would someone say otherwise? Well, that's a whole other video in itself, and there is so much evidence and information out there about this subject that I'm going to hold off on it, and I want to just show you in this video clear evidence that you can see with your own eyes that, this, that there is significant water erosion. So, if there's significant water erosion, when could that have happened? Well, the Nile Delta area has not got more than an inch of rainfall for thousands of years, and that there's evidence that the last time that area had significant rainfall was literally more than 9,000 years ago, and some sources say even more than that. Wake up, people. That's more than twice as old as the Sphinx is being told, taught in school today, in public and at the university level. Look at these photos. Look, I can break it down where you see water erosion and where you see wind erosion. Look at the comparison here, where you can see as it's outlined, and by the way, thank you for the, I sourced these photos off Google Images, I'm using them for you know educational purposes here, so thank you to everybody who has done the research. What I'm doing here today is I'm synthesizing and putting together the information for people to see, because the information unfolding about the history of human civilization is far more complicated than what we were taught in school and what is being taught today. And when you control the past, you control the present and the future, and that is why this is important. But take a look at these photos here. You can see clear evidence where I've compared side by side wind versus water erosion. Look at these photos, limestone water erosion, wind erosion. Here's another picture of more wind erosion. Now here's a picture of limestone water erosion and compare it next to this gentleman uh, that is standing inside the enclosure of the Sphinx. Now look at the next photo, two pictures of water erosion and limestone. Water erosion, there it is. When you piece it together, guys, it's fair to say that it's a two-fold answer that yes, there is some wind erosion and there is rain erosion. However, if there's rain er erosion, as you can clearly see here, and as, as, like I said, 200 professional geologists from around the world have stated, then you have to ask, start asking yourself some questions like, how old is the Sphinx? Well, guys, there is significant evidence that human civilization is far older than what we were ever taught, and maybe potentially by tens of thousands of years. Well, guys, I'm Jimmy. This is Bright Insight. I'm making more videos. I'm a new channel, and there's far more videos to come. Like and subscribe if you like what I have to say and help me spread the message. Be blessed all.